So you've probably seen the trend where people are using AI generative fill to create different versions of their photos and then editing it to the trending song that is the Kendrick Lamar and Radiohead mashup. Now, typically with trends, when people hear that word, there's two reactions. One, they hate it because they think you're just copying someone else and there's no ingenuity. Or two, they love it because it gives them an opportunity to try something they may not have. And for me, this trend actually inspired me a little bit. So because I was inspired by this trend, I wanted to try it for myself. Now, I have to be honest, I don't really jump on trends because, well, I'm usually too slow. And by the time I'm ready to try that trend, the trend's already over. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own version of it because I actually use Affinity Photo and I actually don't have access to the AI generative fill. So I'm going to go out and take all the photos manually. I'm going to use the match cut, which I've talked about before to put it together. Cause essentially that's what the generative AI fill is doing. They're just isolating the center subject and then just the environment around it is changing or vice versa. All right, so the biggest challenge with the way that I'm gonna be doing this is that you need a lot of photos because with the generative AI fill feature, it can produce up to 60 photos for you. So my plan is to mix video with the photo so that I have enough to edit. The setup that I'm gonna be using today is the Sony a7 IV with the 20 to 70 G to give me as much flexibility with my focal lengths as possible to get the shots. And then I'm gonna edit everything, including the video portions in Dehancer to give it that retro vibe. I picked a handful of subjects that I knew I would be able to take pictures of in different parts of the city like these garbage bins and crosswalk lights. But you can also use similar shapes to match up to give you even more of that AI effect. Using your grids for composition and keeping the subject centered will give you the most flexibility while editing. Once you have as many photos as you can, time to edit to the beat. Take off the fufu, -fu. take off the cloud chase, take off the guava, take off the uniform, take off the car, take off the flag and the white Would using AI generative fill have been easier? Yes. But to be honest, I actually had a lot of fun going out and shooting all the photos, although it was definitely tedious. But that forced me to look at my environment differently and take photos that I might not normally take. And because I knew the photos would be a little more basic, I wanted to use Dehancer to tie it all together, to give it that look and that feel that I was going for. And I think it achieved that. So although the video is not sponsored by Dehancer or anybody, if you want to try out Dehancer for yourself, for your own content to get that vintage look, I'll leave a code in my description below that will give you 10% off anything from their website. Now, whether it's a social media trend or a photography trend or even a fashion trend, I think what that allows you is an opportunity to try something different that you might not normally try. And from that place, with repetition and practice, you'll just grow, get better, and eventually develop your own style that could potentially become its own trend that inspires other people. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a short and quick one. I hope you liked it. And if you did like the video, share and consider subscribing as it's an easy way to help out other creators like myself and yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. So as always, live passionately and stay inspired. Bye. Bye.